it's time to wire up the X assembly. Wiring is a very important but often overlooked component of do-it-yourself 3D printers. There's many different components that need all sorts of different wires and it all needs to run together smoothly without any wire getting pulled or yanked. Having wires properly set up will make your printer happy and running for a long time. You're going to need the X assembly, all your wires, just have them somewhere around you, the extruder, a bunch of big zip ties and a bunch of small zip ties. And that's it. First, we're going to pre-assemble one small 4-inch zip ties onto the right side of the X carriage. There, is, there are two holes there. Just thread the zip tie with the head on the outside, just like so. All right, now let's insert the extruder into the X carriage. We haven't done this before, so this is how you do it. First, loosen the quick release system, basically as much as you can. And now, making sure that the hot end wires go underneath the X, the X carriage, put everything in place and tighten it. Should look like so. Now we are ready for the next step. Take two big zip ties and make two loops out of them. Don't tighten it all the way, just loops. And now we're going to put these two big zip ties onto the wire posts just like so with the zip ties sort of facing down towards where the bottom of the X assembly later will be. Just like so. Take your snips and cut about an inch from both of these zip ties. Now take two small white zip ties, four inch, and thread them through the big ones. There's like a little triangle of space left because of how the head fits onto the post. That's where you want the small zip tie. And now we're just gonna try to logically connect all the wires that we need to power our whole extruder and everything that's connected to it. So let's start with whatever we have here on the front. There's two fans, the hot end fan and the filament fan. So we'll need the filament fan wire and the hot end fan wire, which goes with the proximity sensor wire. These two go together. Take the proximity sensor wire slash hot end fan wire and connect it to the hot end fan. Now we'll take the filament fan wires, which have two parts to it, because we have two filament fans. <laughs> the very end of the filament fan wire will connect to the left fan, that's at the bottom, and the other part will connect to the right fan. <laughs> both of these wires, both of the filament wires, will attach underneath a small white zip tie on the right side of the X carriage. Let me just finish this up and I'll show you how it looks when I'm finished. It's much easier to see what I'm talking about when it's actually in place. There you go. So the hot end fan wire connects right here and goes between the belt and the smooth rod. The right filament wire goes through the same space, but the left wire goes underneath and connects right here. So what other components do we have here? Well, there's the hot end, which would be the heat block and the thermistor. So let's get the heat block and thermistor hot end wire. I snip these two together. 
And then there is the extruder motor, the E motor. So get the E motor wire. And attach it right there. By the way, all these connectors that I'm talking about, there's only one way to connect them. So you don't have to worry about reversing anything. And there's one more thing we have not connected yet, which is the proximity sensor. And there it is. Only one place to connect. It's the proximity sensor wire and also the hot end fan wire. Now it's all wired up on this side. And we need to make sure that all the wires are nice and neat and they all have good space for themselves. <laughs> I'm going to use the small white zip tie to put a loop around all the wires, but I'm going to leave it loose so I can adjust the slack. And now let me talk a little bit about slack. It's supremely important that all the wires have some sort of slack so that when the X carriage is moving around that the wires themselves are never pulled hard on or that any of the connectors are getting yanked about that will surely lead to your printer malfunctioning sooner or later. <laughs> so I will just play with all the wires right now until they all have a nice little loop before they connect to their end point. <laughs> and then when I'm happy with it, that's where I tighten it. And don't worry, I'll show you in the better detail how that looks like. All right. So now I'm quite happy with it. I have all the wires attached right here. But every wire has its own space and slack. None of the wires is getting pulled hard. Everything is nice and neat. When I'm done with that, I'm free to snip the white zip ties to clean it up a bit. There we go. Now we move on to the left side of the X assembly wiring. There's two more components we need to connect, the X motor and the X end stop. We're gonna join the wires together with the rest of the harness, and then they're gonna all continue together all the way to the motherboard, to the Arduino. So we'll start with the X motor right here. Get the X motor wire. <laughs> and the X motor wire will get to the back through a hole on the upper left corner of the X assembly. Like so. But because we never want to pull at the end of a wire, we need to secure the wire in place with one small zip tie to relieve any possible tension or pressure that may travel into the connector through the motion. Now when you do this, remember it's important to always have some slack on the wire. In this case, it manifests itself in having a little loop going up and then towards the back. Don't pull it in like that. Make there a nice little loop. And the X end stop. A basic switch. To attach the X end stop, we'll need two M2 by 16 bolts with two M2 nuts and two M2 washers. The end stops, the X and Y end stops are the only parts on the printer that we actually use M2 bolts. As usual, start by putting the washer on the bolt and attach the end stop to the left side of the X assembly. <laughs> <laughs> 
you will probably discover for yourself that these are quite fiddly. But you can do it. You don't need much pressure to hold these in place. You don't want to crash anything. Just make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. <laughs> and same thing as before, to make sure that no tension from the motion travels all the way into the switch, we're going to secure it in place with one 4 inch white zip tie. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna cut the white zip ties so they're not in my place. Now I have the left and the right side connected and I just need to conjoin all the wires into a system that actually works and increases the longevity of the wiring. All the wires from the right side will go towards the left, onto the left post. All the wires from the left side will also go onto the post but sort of from the inside. They'll come together here. I like to put in the white zip tie loop loosely. Now I have the opportunity to adjust all the wiring, make sure it's nice, that all the wires have proper slack, just like before, that I'm not yanking anything. Make sure to put the X carriage to the extremity to determine the proper length of all the wiring in between. Once I have that, tighten it in place. All right. I like to put another small zip tie around both of these big zip ties that brings them back and it makes the angle much more amiable. Note that we use these big zip ties as basically a way, as, as a pendulum system to hold the wires in place and give them nice linear space to fold. <laughs> It looks nice to verify. <laughs> nothing's being pulled, nothing's yanking, everything is smooth. I like it. Last step, let's put some spiral wrap about the wires so that they are held together and they don't mix in any place where they shouldn't be. We have two spiral wraps, take the shorter one and wrap it all around the inner part of the so-called wire harness. Make sure to go both around the wires and around the big pink zip ties. That gives the system a nice linear folding. <laughs> Quick verification. Nice. The spiral wrap probably will and should be slightly long. Just cut it to size. You don't want it crunched up too much, by the way. Then it doesn't fold nicely. You want the spiral wrap to be a little loose. And now we do the same thing for the rest of the wires. 
If you have a friend building with you, I suggest this part to be a race. Alright. Let's verify the motion once more. See if it ni everything folds nicely. Nothing in place. Sorry, nothing out of place. <laughs> everything in place. It's great, elegant, functional, and congratulations, this is the most complicated part of the printer.